Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 where we are jumping in for a daily race B at Dragon Trail Gardens, the reverse layout. We are of course in group 3 machinery, but before we get into the racing action, now would be a great time for you to hit the like button if you are enjoying the content and subscribe if you are new around here or haven't already. So with that all said and done, let's get into this race. We've got six laps at Dragon Trail in the Group 3, starting in P10 for this one. So this was a brilliant race. It wasn't action-packed, but it was definitely it was definitely worth sticking around for. As we get ready to get underway here, we're going to get the run on the Porsche up ahead. Coming in to turn one here, we'll see what we can do. Picking our brake markers. Two people are going to go quite wide. It's going to be a lot of contact behind, but we're going to sneak up the inside and survive the carnage that is turn one. So that's two positions gained in one corner. Not a bad start at all. Now this difficult quadruple left-hander it was very difficult to get right as you see there's someone visiting barrier once you get onto that red stuff there is no way back onto the circuit you just get completely sucked off so coming up into a another very difficult corner as with this camera view you, you just can't see the apex at all a lot of blind corners on this circuit to do with the elevation changes and this is again a very difficult hairpin to get right. As you see there, we're going to get on the power a little bit too early, run a little bit wide. So with the Porsche, I found that it is very understeery. It um, has a lot of traction on the exit, but sometimes it is difficult to get the rotation. And sometimes you get too much rotation, so... It's a difficult one to control, but it was the most dominant car for this race. So we're going to try and practice and see what we can do. So that was lap 1, we gained 3 positions. Moving on now to the start of lap 3, nothing really happened on that second lap. Coming in to turn 1 here on lap number 3, we're going to go very deep. That will allow us to get the better exit. As you see there, the GTR spinning around, hitting the barrier, going to get himself a penalty. So that is going to be us up into P6. And this is basically where the race stabilised. So I was constantly on the hunt, constantly trying to hunt down P5. But there was a lot of mistakes, both from me and from P5. You're going to see a little bit later, we do end up catching up with the battle. But right now, we're just trying to hit our brake markers, get it turned in. Keep it nice and clean and don't make any big mistakes. Getting a better exit out of the hairpin this time around. Which is going to help us, but you can see everyone's just pulling away from us down the straight. And this chicane is also really, really difficult in this layout. I'm basically off throttle all the way through this. I felt like I was losing a lot of time. So we'll see if we can practice that during the week. This final corner though, the long sweeping corner, get on the power nice and early. Really does feel great if you get it right. We try and stay off the grass there being a bit of a moron. Contact up ahead as we see the puff of smoke. That's going to bring us right into action. You see now the gap under one minute or one second. Only six seconds to the guy in P1 as well. We try and get it rotated, get it slowed down through this section, get on the power nice and early you really want to straighten up nice and early for the last apex of that corner 
trying to get the car balanced through this S section. It can be flat at times if you get it spot on. We didn't get it spot on that time, so we had to have a little lift. Taking a tighter line through the hairpin this time. So we're going to get a really good run on Big Aki. Now, as you see there from the leaderboard, this was a pretty much a English or British dominated race. It's good to see the British coming out in force in this race. As you see Dan there just getting a bit of a wiggle on coming out of the chicane. That's going to give Big Aki the run. So Big Aki's gone up one position. We're right now on the back of Dan but we're going to go wide coming out of the last corner there. So we're going to be far, we're going to be far too far back. But they can battle up ahead. That is fine with me. I will just watch, pick up any pieces that I can. Again it stops nicely there into turn one. On the power as early as we can. You see they're going side by side again here, coming into the quadruple left hander. A little bit of contact, but they both managed to keep it on the circuit just about. That is going to bring them both right back into my path. I'm going to try around the outside of Aki. But Dan was just in the way so we couldn't get the momentum and then Aki was determined to turn into us. So we're going to back out and let him go. We don't want to fight too much because then we will lose touch with the guys ahead. As you can see already the gap between 4th and 3rd has increased massively. Just by those two battling and fighting as hard as they are. Coming up into the chicane for the fifth time in this race. Big Aki there riding the sausage like a pro. Again, we just feel like we're losing way too much time out of that chicane. But I did feel like this corner in particular I was quite strong at. As you can see, we get in quite a good run on fifth position. We've gained two temps over this straight alone. However, we go a little bit deep here into turn one. Trying to get the cut back, trying to make it work, but we get oversteer on the exit. That's not going to help us as we are on the, the last lap. Now, coming in to the quadruple left hander for the last time in this race. You're going to see the big Aki getting it all kinds of wrong. He's going to go into the barrier, tries to correct it, but he's going to spin on the exit. Picking up a 1.5 second penalty for his troubles. Actually, that might have increased to three minutes because he hit the barrier twice there. But we're just going to try and bring this home. We're not going to push too much. There's no chance of us catching Dan. So we're just kind of cruising now. We don't want to. We don't want to get any massive oversteer moments, get any penalties or mistakes. But as you can see, that is going to mean the brick behind is going to catch up quite a lot. We do have a one and a half second gap, so I'm not too worried. We're just going to take it nice and casually through the last chicane. You see how much is gained just on this lap alone. But I, I knew he was there. I knew he was gaining. I'm not going to panic. We had enough in the tank to take us home. We're going to come home in a P5. Hopefully during the week we can improve our qualifying time. Get a bit more familiar with the track. As you can see actually on the top two in the leaderboard was the V12 Vantage. So maybe I'll give that one a go. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. But let me know in the comments how you've been getting on with the daily races. What you think of the daily races this week? I'm a bit mixed. I'm not really a big fan of Big Willow or Dragon Trail. But we'll see what we can do in the week with a little bit of practice. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. But until then, take care and goodbye.